There's a lot of reasons why we should be looking beneath our feet. Limiting factors are under there that we can't see from above. What opportunities have we got down there so we can make some more money out of the soil we've got? When you dig a pit, they don't lie to you. They tell you exactly what has gone on, what is going on, and then what probably needs to happen and then what will happen in the future based on your management. The more you dig, the more you find. The last three years I've worked with Vic No-Till looking at these kind of sub-aerial, if you like, soil systems and how they can be matched to management, to moisture availability, to fertility and drive changes in broadacre no-till systems, going around into different areas, into different soil types, different soil climates throughout Victoria, into South Australia, New South Wales. The data that's been collected by Vic No-Till is to each layer. It's insane what's been collected, which is a credit to Vic No-Till because it just changes the game. Vic No-Till is so explicitly focused on soils because they have seen the results from what happens when you deeply understand that asset that you're standing on. That's where I think the true value in the group lies is the ability to showcase those examples of where innovations have been proven. I think that whole ethos of farming helping farmers and has really encouraged the group to just want to understand their soils better and their core productive asset. Are we understand the system well enough to utilise here. Yep, fine to organise this productivity zone north to 30, but from there on down the profitability zone, we need to understand it all. We just look at the skin and we try and make sense of that and we base all of our management decisions based on this raft that's more suitable for growth at the top. But we need the whole square metre to be engaged in the performance of this, whether it's pasture in this case, or cropping wheat, oats, barley, canola. You don't have to put a hole every 15 metres. You could do three pits on a farm and your main three soil types over 10,000 acres and you're gonna be a lot further ahead. Understanding the productive constraints is about unlocking potential. We were uh, big nitrogen users and growing ryegrass pastures with a very small root system, we didn't really utilise, we thought, the rest of the soil so much. As we've backed our nitrogen off to try and improve our soils, took a bit of lime, a bit of gypsum, and multiple species, finding the different soils as you go down in a soil pit like this really helps us manage, because you know where roots go and where they feed from as we go down. And so, by having multiple species and having more roots go down, plants can take up different traces and different nutrient needs they have as they go down. When we started trialling multi-species on this particular farm, we did side-by-side -side ryegrass clover trial with the winter supermix, which had 15 species and we were gaining a kilo extra a day of live weight gain in like cooler months in our finished cows which are going direct to butcher so that's a huge huge difference for us at the end of the day we're, we're making more money from it and the cost of the multi species was less than the ryegrass clover and it's doing a lot better for the soil none of this is based around ideology it's really about farmers helping farmers because seeing is believing and seeing examples over the fence is so much more compelling than reading about them or hearing about them on a podcast or a webinar. Coming out of these soil pits, it's, you know, everyone sort of sees issues, but really it's opportunities because it's, it's an opportunity to, you know, get everything functioning, really get everything humming. It's not necessarily spending less, it's just much more of a targeted spend. Targeting the issues you've got and trying to improve them rather than just yeah, a more of a conventional blanket operation of everything actually really been enjoying it and I think we're really starting to see some positive impacts on the farm at home as well.